Hello everyone, my name is Jason. Today we're going to explain what TVU Party Line is and how you can incorporate its video conferencing capabilities within your live broadcast. TVU Party Line was created to solve the issues broadcasters were experiencing when they shifted to remote production during the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Traditional conferencing systems weren't cutting it. Video quality and stability over the public internet, lack of sync with audio, was subpar compared to what broadcasters need for live TV. Since PartyLine was built to integrate into the broadcast environment, it provides full HD quality video with both digital and SDI output and professional audio management features, as well as a level of operability that you can't get from the standard tools currently on the market. That's because PartyLine uses a real-time interactive layer that allows users to separate their audio and video from the actual production, meaning you can communicate with your talent guests in real time even while they're live on the air. Remote commentators and participants can use any device, smartphone, tablets, laptops, Androids, iOS, any of those can join a party line session, either through their web browser using a quick URL link or by downloading the TVU Anywhere app. This enables broadcasters to create multi-person conferences with hundreds of users seamlessly. This is how it's done. So, now we're in party line. We've got three main modes, common party, gallery view and conference. But at the moment, let's start off with common party. Let's start one. And here we get information about the max number of participants. Apply. And here we get the first options um, as to what our name will be inside the party. My name is Jason. Uh, and then sound options, camera options and microphone. At the moment we can just toggle on or off, but in a second we'll be able to change settings. Submit. Here we are in the common party, the main view. Uh, got my camera there. As, as I just said, we've got the more options to do with sound, camera and microphone. Here in the camera options we can select any camera we've got connected. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, an external camera connected right now as a webcam. And we can also change the microphone options. How do we invite people? What we first need to do is hover our mouse up to the top and click copy. We can also see our party idea here to, here to the left, but we don't really need to memorize that at the moment. We can also invite people by going top left and clicking on the three buttons and copying the link. This link we can send it to anyone through instant messaging or email and they'll be able to click on that and join our party. So PartyLine was created to allow broadcasters to take video from almost any device. They support anything that runs a Chrome browser or Safari or mobile device. TVU also have direct apps like TVU Anywhere that run on any device. So with just a simple click and sharing of a link, you can allow anyone to connect. This is the point of view from the person that's being invited. They will have the source image at the top left and all the participants on the right. They can decide to leave the call at any time. They can decide to activate or deactivate the camera, choose between all the different camera options. They can uh, decide to do with the microphone and all the different microphone options. They can turn off the speakers and share the screen. I think we should add a couple more people into the party so that you can have a clearer example. Well, as you'll notice, these people aren't connected live, but it works for demo purposes. As the host, I have the ability to turn off and on their microphone. I can turn off their video feed and turn it back on, requesting an access. And also to be able to promote them or anyone to production crew. Being in the production crew allows you to have a private conversation while the conference is in progress.
Party Line also provides the capability to treat audio and video much like a broadcast router in the cloud. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to set up a party line for a live talk show with multiple participants. In this mode, all participants can communicate with anyone. Everyone can hear everyone else and everyone can see everyone else. But the big thing that separates PartyLine from other community conferencing tools is the fact that PartyLine was built to broadcast. It's built to integrate into the broadcast environment. It has full HD quality and full audio capabilities, regardless of how many people that you have in the environment. As you can see at the bottom, we can select destination and select it to go to our producer or receiver. Producer has eight slots that you can choose from and receiver will have different servers that you can send it to. In our case, we have three. Let's send it first to our producer slot one. Start. If we go up to the top to our producer, we can see that I'm already here live. Hello. And then if we go back to party line, let's try and send our participant one to slot two. We already had that selected and start. Let's go back to producer, see if that's worked. Hey, hello. And then, as we can see, we can choose any of these output slots if we want to stop and then send it to number six, for example. We can do that, it's very versatile. And then we have it in number six. Okay. Once we want to send it to our receiver, we'll select slot, uh, sorry, we'll select receiver, in our case TVU EU, and start. And as we can see in our TVU receiver, it should be here any second. There it is. As a host, we have full control over our participants. We can for example, change people's names, Lisa Loop, and we can, for example, delete people. Deleted from the world. This is like my very own green room. I can get everyone online and connected, with their camera ready, fully briefed and ready for air. This workflow completely negates the risk of Zoom bombing because no one is on air. They're just in our private party. We have to actually root them out for anyone to see them. Lisa, you're doing fine. I'll send you over to producer. This main window right here is what we call video feedback or program return. From TVU receiver or from the TVU producer, you're able to take program and bring that program back into the source so that everyone who's in the party line can see the program within 200 milliseconds. That really allows for a fluid way to see the program output or to watch an event and communicate amongst all of the participants in a party. Let's do that right now. We'll stop Lisa, we'll stop me, send me over to TVU receiver, start, as we can see in the receiver, we should be here any second now. There we are. And then if we go onto the main menu, main window, sorry, and select the same receiver. TVU receiver allows us to have physical inputs and outputs. In this case, we can choose between an SDI input or the live source. That's the one we want. Send. As we can see, we are sending our live source from party line to TVU receiver and back to party line here with only 200 milliseconds of delay. Like on any video conferencing program, you can also share screen. You can select your entire screen, application window or Chrome tab, but we don't need to at the moment. On the top right, we can change our resolution settings. We can change our participant resolution from low to high, we can change our video feedback resolution, 1080p as always. We can change our frame rate, 30, and our bit rate. Let's up that a bit. Switch bit rate success, very good.
Conference mode was designed to host virtual press conferences in the best possible way, with lots of cool and additional features. Let's get into it now. Here we have three main sections, speaker, question and queue, and participants. First of all, let's start off with speaker. To select a speaker, we want to go to the main window, and then here we can select a speaker, for example, which will be a list of all our participants we have connected. As we can see now, we can have our producer program. Uh, now I've got uh, Lisa Loop again showing, and then we can also select our TVU receiver. This is the one I want now. This time I'm going to select SDI, And here we have our fake, true live show. In conference mode, just like in a common party, we can invite people by clicking on the green copy link at the top. Here we have. We already have some participants in, but we don't have them yet in our questionnaire queue. Let's see how that works now. To add people to the questionnaire queue, we should go down to the bottom here and click on the three dots next to each name and add in questionnaire queue. In this menu, we can also rename, edit the tag name, set a private chat where you can communicate privately with this participant. We can also change the role settings, so take him directly to a speaker, or we can remove them completely. At the moment, I'll add in a questionnaire queue. Here we have Ted. Another way to add people into the questionnaire queue is through the raise hand system. Here we can see a little red dot. That means that someone's raised their hand. As we can see, Michael's raised his hand to get in and we can click on the three dots on the right and we have pretty much the same options. Add in questionnaire queue. Hello, Michael. One of the main differences between common party and conference mode is that the host, in this case me, isn't viewable to all the participants. However, we can still contact with them privately. I'm just going to talk to Ted now. Hey Ted, are you ready for your question? After that, to set him as a questioner, we'll just here click here on set public talk. And now we can see Ted is making, asking his question. If we don't really like his question, we can get rid of him by clicking hang up interview or by directly replacing him with someone else. Let's put Michael. Hey Michael, how are you doing? As we can see here, we have the chat icon. We can click here and talk to everyone at the same time in the group chat. Hello everyone. This is the participant view. We can also go into a personal chat room, public chat room, and talk to everyone in private. We can also change the order of the questionnaires by clicking to the top on the second one. And that's how we do it. Just like in Common Party, we can select any of the participants or image sources that we have here and send them to our TVU receiver or TVU producer to be mixed on the cloud. We just have to click on this little arrow and select between any of the slots that producer has and any of the receivers that we have connected. At the moment, I'll just click on slot one of the producer and go live. And of course, we can always set them as a public talk. Even though PartyLine is capable of having thousands of participants, it's also ideal for one-on-one -on -one interviews with guests. You can do it with the common party mode I showed you previously. Here we have our interviewer and interviewee. We're going to select our interviewer and output her to the producer, slot one, start. And we have our interviewee, we'll select him on slot two and start. As we can see here, we have our interviewer and interviewee and we can go changing from one to the other. You can also do this using conference mode of TVU Partyline that I just showed you before. Interviewer will be the speaker 
and their guest can join in as the questionnaire. Production crew can prep the interviewee before they join the live interview while they wait in the queue. Once we've got him prepped, we put him in as a questionnaire. And here we have, they can both start their one-on-one -on -one interview. Partyline can also help us collaborate in a remote studio. It can enable the whole crew to have a real-time communication that helps them be in sync with their production they're creating. So, at the moment we've seen Common Party, which is great for interviews and chats. We've seen Conference Mode, which is great for press conferences. Let's get into Gallery View, which is great for virtual attendance to live shows. This is the gallery. Here we can see the grid. The grid is the number of participants that we'll be able to see at the same time. At the top we can go as low as two people and the one by two, got lots of different options. And we can go up to eight by eight, 64 people. Just like in the other modes, we can invite people by clicking on the green link here or sending the unique party ID. One particular thing about gallery mode is that participants won't be able to see or hear other participants. They'll only be able to see the program and themselves. Let's change over to a smaller grid and invite someone. As we can see, we have both our participants in the party. We're using video loops for demo purposes. This is the host view. We can see all the participants at once. On the participants view, we can see a big screen with no signal at the moment, and we can see a smaller screen with their own camera. But they can't see or hear any of the other participants of the party. Back to the host view. Let's send your feedback to all of the participants. We'll go to the main window and select any of our producer for our mixing on the cloud or receivers. In our case, it's a receiver. So, send success. Our participants should be seeing it no problem. And let's preview it just in case. All looks fine. Let's go and have a look at their point of view and see what they can see. And now we have all our public attendants watching the football game and watching a small screen of themselves to see how they're doing. We just added two more people to the call. We can output this grid to one of our receivers. Let's do that now. Let's see how it looks on the receiver. And of course, if we select a different layout, we'll send a different grid. Let's select a 4x4, send it to our receiver, and see what that looks like. If you choose a bigger grid than the amount of participants that you have in the call, Party line will automatically fill the empty spots. Another thing that we can do is route each one of our participants to an output. So, to get it clear, the top output sends the full grid and then each one can also be sent individually. We'll just go to li the little arrow that each one has and select what slot we want to send it to. Slot one for Lisa, for example, on the producer. This could be used for an award ceremony, for example, where you have four nominees all waiting to win. One of them wins, we can send them out to a different output. Other things that you can do remotely. Just like in the other modes, we can mute our participants or unmute them. We can turn off and on their camera. We can select their roles. We can go here to the right on the three dots rename them, put them in full screen. Of course, if we have a 64 grid, we won't be able to see their camera. So we can choose to go full screen and see if their quality is right. We can change their tag name, replace them with another one, have a private chat as well, move them to another of the party line modes, explain to you in a second, and of course, remove them from the program. One of the really cool things about party line is that we can move any of our participants from any mode to any mode. So right now we're in gallery, we can send them all to conference or common party, and from common party we can send them to gallery or to conference, any can send to any. So how do we use the move tool? We can send each participant individually by clicking on the three dots and move to, or we, we can send 
or to send more than one participant, we can go to the top right, select move pips, and then select one or more of our participants, go to done. We can send them to common party, gallery and conference, obviously. In this case, we'll send her to common party, save, move, and then we go back to our common party. We can see they're both here. Gallery view can be a very useful tool, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. Fans can now scream and cheer, even if they can't be there in person. Come on guys, go! <laughs> TVU is constantly adding new modes and features to PartyLine based on customer demands. Their latest announcement is a remote commentator mode, so stay tuned and subscribed for more tutorials. Thank <laughs> you.